What is the difference between atomic mass and molar mass? And molar mass, okay? So, the key difference here actually, it honestly depends on what type of compound you are dealing with or element. So atomic mass, okay, starting there, atomic mass is strictly the number on the periodic table, okay? So with that being said, the atomic mass, okay, if you look at the periodic table, when they give you the atomic mass units, it's right here at the bottom. Okay, lithium, atomic mass of 6.94, beryllium, 9.0122, oxygen, atomic mass, 15.999. That is what atomic mass means. Molar mass now, okay, all right, is the addition of... Let me actually draw it in a different color. Is the addition of um, atomic masses. Now, what do I mean by that? Is that sometimes you're just adding just one thing. If I said, what is the molar mass of potassium? Okay, just potassium. Potassium in natural, in nature, just shows by itself. Okay, solid. Okay, that is its form. So the molar mass would be the addition of one potassium. That's just it. So you look at the periodic table and one potassium, this atomic mass is just 39.098. So in this case, like when dealing with this uh, solid, well not solid, when dealing with this metal or even like noble gases for example. So metals and noble gases usually follow this trend to where the molar mass is really just the atomic mass. Now, if I said, what is a molar mass of oxygen? That's different. If I said, what is the atomic mass of oxygen? You would tell me that it's just 15.999. Cause that is the number on the periodic table, one oxygen atom. Molar mass now implies in terms of what it shows up as nature. And oxygen in nature, is O2. So now, instead of it being one krypton like what we have here, we have two of the atomic masses of oxygen. So the molar mass of oxygen is actually 31.998 because oxygen shows up as a molecule in nature that is its molecular structure O2 and you will typically see this with like gases like fluorine chlorine excluding noble gases though but like oxygen fluorine chlorine those things when they say what is a molar mass you no longer dealing with one element okay and with that being said you would also or should specifically you should never see something like what is the atomic mass of CH3Cl this cannot have an atomic mass because it's composed of different elements. There is no CH3Cl on the periodic table. What it should be asking for is a molar mass because that allows us to add up our atomic masses to get the answer. So the molar mass of this, for example, would be 1C plus 3 hydrogen plus 1Cl. Adding those atomic masses is what gives us our molar mass, okay? So that is the difference between molar mass and atomic mass. And let's see what they have here. Atomic mass is expressed by atomic mass units. And they also explain well, actually how they got the atomic mass numbers is that they actually take the isotopes because uh, if you see in nature, you won't really see a carbon that has, I guess, 12.011 grams. Usually you see a mixture of different isotopes of carbon, okay, where they have specifically uh, six neutrons, six protons, which adds it to around 12 atomic mass units, 
okay electrons are so insignificant they don't really factor in but point being is that you have some carbons like that and you have other carbons that still have six protons but seven neutrons so what they do is that they take the percentage of the carbons present which is what they explain here and that's how they get that atomic mass unit but the molar mass as they go forward is the grams of one molar substance and you have to now the um, add up the atomic masses of the compounds of the of things it's composed of to get the molar mass for the elements though like they say like we discussed metals and the noble gases and such the mass molar mass and atomic mass are equal like how we discovered here but for certain other elements okay well they're not really called elements any they are called molecular elements but like the gases oxygen fluorine gas chlorine gla gas that one would actually be different in regards to their molar and atomic mass because of the fact that they don't um the molar i guess formula is written as o2 f2 cl2 and not no longer the same as just the atomic mass but yeah and now for this we're going to solve question 12. Oh.